and rise and shine is what the rooster said. Your coon cat Cleopatra has something she's treed out here for you. And we believe it's the culprit that got to our corn. So let's just have a look-see what Miss Cleopatra sent up this tree. Who could this be? Oh, who could that be right there trying to sneak away from me? But none other than the masked bandit who got into our corn crops and destroyed our hard-earned corn. Now he was out here trying to eat the chicken's corn left over from yesterday. But by golly gee willikers, we caught the sucker that destroyed our crops the other day. And he's making a run for it. He's not going very fast, but he's a, he's a getting on up that tree trunk as fast as he can. Girl, you did a good job. Where'd you go? Where's my kitty? Hmm? There you are. Come here, girl. You did a good job. Come here. You did a good job to, to tree that guy. Yes, you did. I'd say you're about the best coon cat in this here part of the county. I know. I saw him. He's up there. Let's see if we can get us another shot here. Well, I guess he's gone for now. He's up that tree. But folks, do you remember uh, only two mornings ago, my wife and I woke up to the misfortunate act of having, finding out that uh, something had gotten into our corn crops. Brand new sweet corn just ready to harvest and eating it. And we posted the video of the damage and we asked you what you thought had gotten into our crops. And the overwhelming majority of you said raccoon, which is what we thought, and uh, we just proved you right. And Cleopatra treated him, and now we got to figure out what we're going to do. Now, we're not going to kill him. Uh, this is his home. Uh, it's our home, too, though, so we just got to figure out how we're going to manage to make sure we're the ones eating our corn, and he or she is not the one eating our corn. So now that we have proof of who the bandit actually is, I want to ask you, what should we do? Should we get one of those traps and trap it and move it 10 miles away? Will it just come back? Should we make a better fence or whatever? So let us know your thoughts in the comments. It's super early, but I saw him out here. I saw him and the cat. I mean, they were sitting like just feet apart from each other. And uh, so I ran out. Sorry, I should have put a shirt on. But uh, I got to let the chickens out, get them to go wake up the rest of the world. So if you have any thoughts, there's a beautiful cardinal up there, but nah, he's hiding behind limbs. If you have any thoughts, let us know what they are, how to deal with this raccoon. Please subscribe to our channel, Homesteading Off the Grid. Make sure to go watch the video of the rare albino deer sighting my wife and son had a couple days ago. I'll tie that to the end of this video because it's so cool you have to see it. And we will see you next time with more from Homesteading Off the Grid.